system I found for me as a BK to uh, attach my prosthesis is I use a one-way valve suction system. It's got a ceiling sleeve made by Autobach that is the uh, ProFlex. It gives me a little bit more of the uh, extension when I bend my knee, but it also is, holds my leg on very well. Uh, I'm pretty much able to hang upside down from it, which in my opinion is pretty, pretty impressive. When you are training to snowboard, uh, before you get out on the mountain and you know during the summer or just getting back on your feet, I would say a few of the things would be cardio, whatever that means to you, whether that's on a running foot, whether that's jump roping, walking stairs, riding a bike, that's huge. Um, if you can fit in some lunges, uh, squats, and work on your core, sit-ups, and also your lower back, that kind of stuff goes very well with snowboarding. If you are an active amputee or just an amputee in general and you would like to get out into the world snowboarding and enjoying what I do every day for a living, um, I would definitely suggest, first of all, going for it. Um, don't, let it don't let anything hold you back. The second thing I would suggest is getting a hold of your local mountain. Um, and seeing if they have uh, an adaptive program there at the mountain. If not, start searching around, call the local mountains or whatever your closest mountain is and see if they know of any adaptive programs or if they have one available. Uh, yes, I am very active uh, outside of snowboarding. I like to hike, I like to mountain bike, downhill and cross country. Uh, I like riding a bike just in general. I love wakeboarding. Um, I love to skateboard, and pretty much anything that keeps me outside and active, I love to do. If I had two superhero powers, uh, I would say, I have to say the first one would be uh, the power of flight. Uh, anybody who knows me on a snowboard knows I love to fly through the air. It's just something I like to do, um, and I think it would be rad to be able to fly as high as jets or out to space or whatever. Um, I guess the second thing would be to be able to have the power of time travel. Um, not necessarily because I'd like to go change anything in the past, but I'm one of those people that I'm always curious to see what the future holds. So I would definitely love to see, you know, what the world's going to be like a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, who knows, even maybe a million years from now. From now. So uh, if I had to choose two, the, those are the two I would pick.